Listen, I'm just getting to the point of this video. I'm telling you right now, if you are a streamer and you want to level up your level of engagement, you want to give it a Zenpai boost, then make sure that you get Leoran Ward. It's flipping free the ultimate stream deck you don't need to waste 300 dollars on an elgato stream deck when the leoran board pc stream deck does so much more i'm i'm just gonna show you the stuff that i was able to create using this thing is freaking amazing you can link it to your twitch points on twitch you can even integrate it to youtube you through the chat you've got to use it look at what i'm able to do look at this look at this spit look it's interacting with my camera oh my god oh. Oh. i mean like seriously dude look there's wait there's more you can do so much more look Mortal Kombat, baby! Toasty. The toasty guy! The toasty guy! Let's give you one more example of why this spit is so clean! We're gonna slap it! Look at that spit! So good! This is why you have to have it as a streamer. It would just add so much more personality to your stream. You can improve your brand and make your streams unique to you and you can add things that your viewers are into to increase the level of engagement is freaking amazing so let's do a tutorial video on how to set all of this up now this isn't going to go into detail about how to construct commands but i would definitely do a basics tutorial on this because i learned a lot of this while i was streaming on twitch and it is finally available on youtube so let's go let's get it first i'll talk about how to put it all together on twitch and then we're going to go over to the youtube side of things and i'll help you guys do it for those youtubers out there as well let's freaking get it all right so let's go ahead and go over how to set all of this up with twitch now you could start by going on obs studios and check to see if you have the WebSocket plugin. You would click Tools, and you want to look for WebSocket Server Settings. If you do not see that, you need to download the OBS WebSocket. This is extremely important because in order for the Orin board to interact with OBS Studios, you have to have OBS WebSocket downloaded. So that is the very first step. So the link to the web page that you're going to use to download the WebSocket, I'm going to put that in the description section and the web page should look something like this. Uh, we probably can't see me now. Should look something like this. Let's make it a little bigger there. And so you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and look under the heading that says assets. <laughs> assets. Let me stop. Um, go down to the third option that says Windows Installer.exe. Just download that, follow the directions of the Windows Installer, and you're good to go. There's also one for Mac as well. And that's pretty much all you have to do for that part. So once you have OBS WebSocket installed, then you can close out your OBS Studios, open it up again, and just go back to Tools and look for WebSocket server settings. If it's there, then you have successfully installed it and you can move on to the next step. Now here is step two for setting up the Orin board for your Twitch. Now I already have the web page that you're going to need up on the screen just so you know what it looks like. The link to the Leoran board webpage is going to be found in the description section, so make sure to look for it there. And all you have to do is look over to the right where it says go to download, click that button, and then click the very first link to obtain Leoran board. Now, the thing about Leoran board is once you download it and I already have it downloaded, you just gotta make sure to unzip it and you don't have to literally install it. 
all you want to do is after you unzip everything make sure that you place the vault the folder somewhere where you can easily find it so like what i did i just took my folder and put it here you know on the desktop just so i know exactly where it is i can quickly get to it i just wanted to show you that there and let's move on to the next step now the next step is to make sure obs studios is connected to the arm board itself friendly warning though when you go back into obs studios look at your websocket server settings and decide on whether you want a password or not you don't have to include a password but just know if you do add a password to the websocket server settings you want to make sure when you open up the orange board that it has the orange board is using the same exact password and you would go down to where it says options and put your password where it says OBS WebSocket password. If they don't match, the orange board is not going to connect. So make sure the WebSocket port and the WebSocket password matches between both applications. Okay. So what you're going to do, you know you successfully connected OBS when connect the OBS is grayed out and it says connected to WebSocket. You're almost there. You're almost home. And so what you're going to do next is click link your Twitch and you're going to click the button that says open URL. Now it says you're going to get a web page that says, all good, you can go back to Lee Orange Board now. So we go back to Lee Orange Board, and as you can see, it says token was obtained successfully, and you're all good to go. And you just close it, and you're linked. You have successfully linked your Twitch. Now, the last thing you have to do is connect to Twitch. Now, if this is your first time using the Orange Board, uh, more than likely there, there's probably going to be a point in time where they're going to ask you to authenticate like they do with every third party software that you use with Twitch. I assume that I automatically connect it because I've already done it, you know, before. And so it just kind of like pulled everything up already. And as you can see, Twitch is connected, listening to channel points, blah, 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 that popped up in the bottom left hand corner. So just make sure to follow all the directions that were given to you. And when you see that connect the OBS, link your Twitch and connect to Twitch is all grayed out then that means everything is good to go um now let's go ahead and talk about the last thing that you want to do in order to make sure everything is running smoothly oh yeah the final lap so what are we going to do now last step we're going to make sure the leoran board transmitter is connected to obs studios so that there is constant communication between the Orin board and OBS Studios. Pretty simple. So there's two ways you can do it. You can connect it using a browser source or you can just dock it. I prefer to dock it because of what you see here. See where my arrow head here is pointing, the mouse arrow head here? Like you can test your alerts here, and then you also get these uh, green lights here, these bubbles, the receiver, the pub sub, and the chat. When they're all green, that means that you're good to go. So it's just extremely useful to test everything out and to get instant feedback as to whether the orange board is connected or not. So here's how you dock it. So what you do is you click view, go over the docs, and then you're going to click on custom browser docs. And so you would add a URL and then name it. Now we're going to talk about how you obtain the URL now. So in order to obtain the URL, in order to get connect the Leon board transmitter, you're going to go to your Leon board folder. And what you're going to do is look for the transmitter, the TSL transmitter and double click. What it's going to do is actually open up the transmitter. And what you want to do 
and what you want to do is copy the URL you copy the URL then you're going to go back into OBS studios paste it in here and then you're going to name it whatever you want to name it and click apply I'm not applying it because I already have it because once you successfully do that you'll have your doc and as you can see well I already did all that stuff so it's already connected but that's it you're done all right YouTube now it's your turn so we're going to go ahead and go over what you need to do in order to connect Leoran board to your YouTube. Now the first couple of steps at the beginning of the video you guys still need to do. So make sure you use the um, timestamps in the description section in order to follow those steps and then come back here once you're done, the YouTube part of the video. So first thing, this is just a quick synapses by the way. So you definitely wanna make sure to go back to the beginning using the timestamp. So, First step, download the OBS website. Install it using the Windows installer. Then make sure you download the Leoran board application. And then make sure that you are connected to OBS Studios. You do not have to worry about linking your um, Twitch or anything like that because I'm going to show you a method that you can use that will you know, be completely separate from those steps. It'll be quick and painless. I hope. <laughs> okay, so we're connected to OBS. What in the fudge and heck do we do now? Well, let's talk about that. You're going to go to the lovely Christina's web page. I'm going to put the link to her website in the description section so you know exactly where to go to download Leoran Board YouTube Live, which is going to consist of the folder that you're going to need in order to set everything up. So at the very top of this web page here, there's a button that says download now. Now, you can skip this part, but I'm just saying because I'm actually a Patreon member, I'm supporting her calls because her cause is a dope and amazing cause, putting blood, sweat, and tears into this project for the YouTube people. Um, so you can choose the supporter, you know, by adding some monies to her um, account, you know, the supporter. But if you're not able to do that, you can just click no thanks, just take me to the downloads, and then you're, it's going to send you to the page that you need to go. You download this, and then you um, unzip the extension, and then you're going to get a YouTube Live folder. Take the YouTube Live folder and just put it, I would put it right next to the Leoran board folder so it would just be quick and easy to get to. So I would recommend just putting the Leoran board and YouTube Live folders on the desktop so it's just quick and easy now you're probably asking yourself what in the fudge am i going to do with this youtube live folder i'm going to show you now first off i'm going to open up the youtube live folder because i want you to see something the, what the youtube live folder contains it uh, contains the extension and the transmitter um, the YouTube Live.lbe file is the extension that you're going to add to Leoran board. And this TSL um, underscore YouTube, that is the YouTube transmitter. These two files are what you're going to use to help connect Leoran board to your YouTube. I just wanted to show you that because I already have it installed on mine and I don't want to screw it up, but I'm just going to show you the process. So what you're going to do in order to install the YouTube extension is click install extension It's going to say, please select extension file. So you're going to find your YouTube live folder. It's already there for me. And you're going to click the extension file and open it. Now, when you open it, 
it's going to ask you now, after you open it, they're going to say, okay, please select the transmitter. So then all you gotta do is select the YouTube transmitter. Remember, both of those files is within the YouTube live folder, so that's all that you're working with. You're not working with anything else. After you do that, this is what would appear. It's the YouTube live deck. That's what you're doing. That's what you're installing. So what would be your next step? We're going to talk about that. Why don't we go ahead and click in here? Because what you're going to do is you're going to go into the red button here. You're going to right click. And just so you know what all of this is, this is where all the magic is going to happen. This is where you're going to create your buttons. This is where you're going to edit those buttons and create your commands and triggers. I'll save that for another video. So what we're going to do is right click the red button, params init, and then you're going to go to edit commands. And then you're going to look for the very last command at the bottom here that's called send to extension youtube live params init that should already be there there is going to be a blank spot for what is called the refresh token and i'm going to show you where you can find the refresh token okay because you have to do a little something to get that and then you're going to copy it and paste it in here and then when you do that, you're going to click done. All right, so let's show you where you can find all of that. So this is the website that you're going to use to help you find the refresh token, your refresh token. So the link to this page is going to be in the description section. I'm gonna label it refresh token so you know exactly why you're there. Um, so I'm going to give you the directions in order to find your uh, refresh token. So make sure you look under integrations, look for the subheading called uh, YouTube. Click on that. If it's not clicked, highlight it already. Then under the YouTube heading here, you're going to go down to setup and click setup. Well, I'm already at setup, so we're already good there. You're going to scroll all the way down to where it says link your account and you're going to click authorize the integration. And then this is where you're going to go to integrate the orange board to your YouTube. So, you know, you sign into Google, look up your YouTube, pull it up, allow, click allow, and then your refresh token is going to pop up. So. All you gotta do here is click copy to click, <laughs> copy to clipboard. And when you click on that green button, it says copied to clipboard and you're done. So what am I going to do with that? Well, let's go back in here. So we're going to click YouTube live, right click params in it, um, edit commands and just copy and paste um if you don't know the shortcut command in order to paste something you would just hold the control button down and press v and the refresh uh token that you copied should be pasted in that blank spot so just click within the spot anywhere it's an empty it's an empty uh box and then you just paste it in and click done. I already have all that done, so I don't need to do it. And I covered all of that up because that's security. Um, anyways, once you do that and you do all of that, then you're going to click done. Okay. Now for the very last step, which is just to make sure everything is working properly. So here's what you want to do first um you need to when it comes to youtube live it's a different process but it's pretty simple so what you're going to do is you're going to open go into your leoran board and you have to make sure your receiver is still up it has to be open in order for this to work because the receiver and the uh, pc stream deck works hand in hand 
So what you're going to do is look for Leoran Board Stream Deck PC, click on that, then click Leoran Board Stream Deck, open that up. And what this is, is this is going to be the actual PC Stream Deck that you can interact with. So you're probably asking yourself, okay, which deck am I going to select? Well, you can look back at your Leoran board, um, Leoran board receiver, and then look at the number in front of YouTube Live. It's telling you what the stream deck number is. YouTube Live is stream deck 11. So I already have it typed in there. I'm going to connect, and this is the actual um, stream deck, the PC stream deck. I can use this to instantly test my triggers. I can use this to instantly activate commands at the click of a button. Now, this is extremely important because look here where it says status. This is going to tell you whether your, con your Leon, Leon board is connected to your YouTube or not, uh, whether it's connected to YouTube or not. So right now the status is ready. You want the status to change from ready to listening. Now the thing about YouTube is this, on Twitch, you don't have to, um, you know, go live to actually test your commands because you can literally go into the chat and test your buttons and everything. But with YouTube, you have to be live. So what if you're just testing and you don't want anybody to see anything, all you got to do is just click start streaming and instead of like making it public just make it unlisted and then um and then go live and then you can test everything out that way and check to make sure it's working because when you go live it's going to change from ready to listening let me show you again listen so the status is going to change from ready to listening. When it's green, then that means you successfully connected Leoran board to your YouTube. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So as you can see, um, here's the stream. It's basically um, unlisted. So it's live. If you don't know where to find it, you can find it by going to the live section of your content. Um, section under YouTube studios and you can find it that way. So before I test anything, um, I'm going to look at my stream deck, the Leoran board stream deck. And as you can see, the status has changed from ready to listening. So I have successfully connected it. And to um, prove that I'm going to go ahead and put in a command. Let's use slap. Now, the thing about YouTube is a bit of a delay, so when I put the chat in, uh, put the command in here, I have plenty of time to close the window to check to see if Barbara in indeed slapped that daggum screen. S Barbara, please, slap the screen for me, honey. So, so good. Come on. Come on. And she, and, and there you go. Success. If you guys found this video informative, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials and more because I do live streams and I do videos such as video game playthroughs and stuff like that. Um, so I would like to talk to you more about Leon board and other things. And so also, if you have any issues, feel free to um, share them in the comment section below and I would be happy to help you with whatever issues you may have while trying to do what I did a tutorial on. Um, I would also like to give a huge shout out to Christina and the other content creators that made such awesome tutorials uh, because through their videos I was actually inspired to try out Leoran board for myself and I realized that Leoran board is an extremely useful tool that everybody should know because it is that flipping awesome and not only that it's free 
I mean, it's really cool when you meet people that actually shares um, their knowledge, shares what they know free of charge like this, because I mean, they could have just kept that stuff to themselves, but they like helping people. So I'm just trying to help spread the good word because this content is so amazing. The Orin board is so useful and it's something that can spice up anybody's live stream. It's just that darn good. And I feel as though the Orin board is the future. So um, thank you all for watching this video. And I hope to see you wherever, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Twitch, whether it's Discord. Hey, I can't wait to see you. Peace and God bless and thank you.